Hey guys, welcome to MMA Insider, where we talk about anything and everything related to MMA. In this video, let's take a look at Jake Paul, who's facing off against Anderson Silva, arguably the greatest mixed martial artist of all time. The Spider established a legacy in the Ultimate Fighting Championship that few could have imagined. The veteran has a record for the most straight UFC wins, held the middleweight belt longer than anyone else, and tore through some of the sport's greatest stars during his peak. Silva held the UFC's middleweight belt for a record 2,457 days after defeating Rich Franklin in October 2006. His 16-fight unbeaten streak in the UFC is still a UFC record. Silva's fighting style established him as a legend. He was a flamboyant, elusive, counter-attacker who achieved things that seemed impossible. Silva is virtually the Roy Jones Jr. of MMA, fighting with his hands down and unleashing outrageous kicks, knees, and punches from bizarre angles. Many consider him to be the greatest martial artist of all time. Jake Paul vs. Anderson Silva is taking place. After weeks of speculation, Paul made it official with a tweet. Paul said in a tweet, My toughest test yet, I respect the legend, but he must be exterminated. Silva stated in a statement to ESPN, I know that in life everything has its purpose. Nothing comes just by chance. So I thank God for my health, my family, and my team for providing me with this opportunity to continue doing the thing that I love most. I believe this will be the biggest combat event of the year and will truly make history in the sport forever. Why is Silva fighting a YouTuber at the age of 47? This is a good challenge, Silva told MMA Junkie of his upcoming boxing match with Jake Paul. Silva and Paul will fight in the main event of a Showtime pay-per-view event on October 29th at Gila River Arena in Glendale, Arizona. Silva has had some success inside the ring since leaving the UFC in late 2020, with a surprising win over former boxing champion Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., followed by a first-round knockout of fellow UFC star Tito Ortiz. Silva also looks strong in an eight-round exhibition fight against Bruno Machado in May. It is great news, according to Silva. He's been watching Jake and his brother Logan Paul making their names in the combat sports world, mostly boxing, but now also WWE for Logan Paul for the past two years and is pleased by it all. Silva said in a recent interview, Both of these kids are hardworking. What happened to the people? The kids are doing an outstanding job. The kids are working hard. I admire Jake. However, a fight is a fight. Jake is preparing for a fight with me, and I am preparing for a fight with Jake. Let's go do it. To this point, Paul has been smart in his choice of opponents, but this one stands out for several reasons. Perhaps the most crucial factor is size. Until now, Paul's only fights have been against far smaller opponents. Paul weighs 190 pounds, yet in his most recent battle, he faced Tyron Woodley, who competed at 170 pounds in his heyday in the UFC. Silva was the 185 UFC middleweight champion. In addition, he frequently increased his weight to compete in the light heavyweight class of the UFC. At 205 pounds, he put up what is debatably his finest ever performance, a stunning knockout of former champion Forrest Griffin in 2009. Silva, like Woodley, has prior boxing experience. He recently devoted all of his attention to the sport, racking up some amazing victories. Silva is one of the deadliest strikers in MMA history. Silva is also 47 years old. That is rather old in terms of combat sports. He is not a typical 47 year old, but age is still a huge, huge factor. Jake Paul, a social media celebrity, and Anderson Silva, a former UFC champion, are scheduled to fight on Saturday, October 29th at Gila River Arena, but they don't have the usual pre-fight animosity. During the recent press conference at Glendale and Los Angeles, Paul claimed he's eager for the task but showed respect for the legendary combat sports figure. Paul said, I respect this man. I'm still going to knock him out, but respectfully knock him out. Paul has a perfect 5-0 record in boxing with two victories over former UFC champion Tyron Woodley and another over former UFC fighter Ben Askren. Paul acknowledged that some of the people want to see him fail. No matter how you feel about him, his fight with Silva is without a doubt his most challenging match. Paul declared that he is in excellent form going into the bout. Paul said, People want to see me lose, and that's what I built my career off of. I've been in training camp basically the whole entire year, so I'm feeling really good. Silva, on the other hand, said, I continue trading hard every day in my life. I never stop. Both fighters are taking this fight seriously. That much is certain. The MMA community is excited for this match. What do you guys think about the fight? Who do you think will win? Comment your thoughts below and don't forget to like and subscribe to help the channel grow. We'll make sure to keep you updated with all the latest news in the world of mixed martial arts.